you seen this art that I created? It's like it's made out of coats. Today I'm going to show you how to make it. Alright, welcome back to the tutorial guys and without any hesitation I'm gonna start the tutorial right now so basically we are going to create something like this so as you can see if I just zoom in you can see there are so many details in the design like it is coded and also these lines around it so let's just jump to the tutorial all right first things first I'm just gonna bring in my image make it big enough and select it i'm just gonna fix some of the parts here and everything looks looks good i'm gonna mask it and i'm gonna rename it to the main image and convert it to a smart object make make a copy of it and change it to main, main edit and from here what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna go to the filter pixelate and mosaic and i'm just gonna change the number to around 40 so we would have something like this let me just hide the main image for now so that we would have the edit layer only and after that i'm just going to go to the image adjustment black and white like so and after that i'm just gonna bring up a level just change a level a little bit so that we would have great amount of uh, shadows and highlights and i'm just gonna create another layer and this time it is posturized you can bring it up from here or you can simply go to the layer new adjustment layer and posturize and i'm gonna bring the level to around 10. so if i just bring it up you can see we will have different amount of details i'm just gonna put it around 10. awesome and now we're just going to add those coded uh, textures on our main image so i'm just gonna bring up a pattern i'm just gonna select the first pattern i will make all of these patterns available in my telegram channel so that you can download for free the link will be in the description so I'm just gonna click on ok so this is the first texture and what we're going to do is that we're just gonna use this texture as our shadows so I'm just gonna double click on the layers so the layer style will come up and I'm just gonna bring it down and just bring it somewhere so that you can see so now if I just you know bring it down you can see it is only affecting our highlights and I'm just gonna put it around number 26 and from from now on, uh, we're going to add multiple uh, patterns on top of each other. And what we're going to do is that we're going to add number 26 to this number from now on. So I'm just going to show you how. Uh, so the first one would go around 0 and 26. Okay, now we're going to add the second pattern fill. So I'm just going to hit Command J, double click on the pattern and select the second one and hit OK. I'm just going to name it Pattern Fill Pattern. Let me just name it Pattern 2, Pattern 1. And if I just double click on the layer and bring it back to the normal, you can see this is our base texture. And as I mentioned before, this was 0, 26. And for this one, it will be 27. And I'm just going to add 26 to the 26 that we had on pattern 1. And I have it written in my screen, so it will be 52, like so. And as you can see, it is affecting other layers that are uh, brighter than the first one. So this is uh, the black areas. We are affecting that with this layer and the remaining black areas that are a little bit uh, lighter than uh, this one is going to be affected with this texture. And we're just going to repeat this process. I'm just gonna hit Command J, name this pattern three, choose the third one. And I'm just gonna change this to 53. Um, this one will be 53. And this one will go around 78. We're going to repeat this process. This will be pattern four. And I'm just going to double click on the pattern. Select the fourth one. Double click on it. Put this on uh, 79. And the light one on 104. Repeat that. Pattern five. Again, select the fifth one. This one will go on 104. And the other one will go uh, 
uh, sorry 105 and this one will go 130 and again this one six ones let's say pattern six and i have written all these numbers on my screen so we wouldn't kill our time 131 and the other one will go to 156 and the seven one Oh, sorry 157 and this one 182 and also on the eight one 183 208 and oh, sorry pattern nine just gonna choose the nine one and we have 209 and 200 34 and i believe i have done something wrong here let me just select this one because there are one two three four five six seven eight nine so this will be our nine just gonna select the last one the pattern eight yeah this would be the eight one here the seven one let me just check yeah that is okay and the six ones is okay so if i just want to show you the, the the last pattern that i had the last pattern is a bit different so as you can see it has much less details on the last one because we don't want want to kill our highlights we just want to keep um highlights as empty as possible so that's why we have gone through you know the hardest if i just show you here and um, these are the most complicated uh, patterns so if i just bring it I'm just bring this back to normal to show you so this is you know the first one uh second one third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth and ninth and as you can see we will lose detail because we're just gonna keep pushing them towards our highlights so these are all the patterns that we got here and i'm just gonna create another duplicate of my main edit and bring it on top and i'm just gonna say main edit main um outline because we're gonna create an outline from this one and from here i'm just gonna add an adjustment and brightness and contrast i'm just gonna choose use legacy and bring up the contrast so that we would have something like this if you don't uh, check this one and you bring it up you will just have a little bit of a contrast but i'm just gonna use it as legacy and bring it up and go to the filter stylize find edges and now as you can see we are having these edges and i'm just simply going to choose a multiply so as you can see we are having that outline here and it looks cool and what i'm going to do now is that i'm just gonna select all of these layers here hit command g say a s c i i effect and i'm just gonna hit command shift option e to make a merge layer on top of everything and say uh a s c i i and i'm just gonna uncheck this one for now and what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to uncheck this one also I'm just gonna bring in a gradient and this is the simple gradient that i have for the background make a duplicate of my main image and say uh pixelated and bring it up uh, this is the normal uh image that we have but we're just going to go to the filter pixelate mosaic and just gonna put it on 40 here and what i'm going to do is that i'm gonna uh make this one visible so we would have you know more uh details on the background so as you can see this is cool and after that i'm just going to add a gradient map and i got a gradient map from design syndrome uh pack that you can download from his website um this one is nice because it is affecting my background also and it is giving me a nice color on my ball here and from here i'm just gonna select my ascii tool bring it up and choose a magic wand tool with a contiguous off click on a black area so it would select all the black areas on the layer and hit mask and now as you can see it is affecting my layer here 
looks cool and one more thing i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna add an image of the bull with my retrograde effect you can watch the full tutorial up here i will put a link and from here i will just put the blending mode on the difference and position it right the right position here i'm just gonna say it's real great and i'm just gonna position it below my ascii filter i'm just gonna double click on the ascii layer and i'm just gonna check the color overlay i'm not gonna choose a black color i'm just gonna make it a little bit lighter like a dark gray somewhere around here so it will look more faded and we are actually done with the effect, but I'm just gonna show you some more tips on what you can do with this effect. So let me just delete everything. So we would have our effect itself. And from here, what you can do is that you can simply go to the level that we created on the first steps and you can simply, you know, change this middle one. And as you can see, it is affecting our effect on the image and this is so cool and also on the posterize you can do that you know you, if you bring it up you will see that you will have uh, more details and it is just depends on what you like to achieve at the end and also on the last uh, effect that we've got you can simply come here and convert the effect to a smart object and you can simply you know change the blending mode and you will get so many different options and you can work around it to get what you like at the end and that's it with today's tutorial guys hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace